feels like survival of the fittest out there. Oh my gosh. It's like all of New York is a synchronized dance. In the morning time when everybody's rushing, it's amazing how I get to work without getting into a fight, without pushing somebody and knocking into somebody, knocking onto the sidewalk. Like, you just really gotta know how to move around in these streets or you will be trampled on like Simba in The Lion King. <laughs> so I'm just glad to be back at work, safe and sound. My mind is still intact. My hair, I'm, I'm hoping, still looks good because it started to drizzle a little bit outside. And, you know, I kind of just wanted my edges to be to be a little light, just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm hoping it didn't frizz up. What do you guys think? I think it's still all right. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm going to start my day. It's a good day, a good day, a good day to be alive, to be alive. Even though it's raining outside, it's a good day. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Hey, guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. And yes, we're a little late on our Vlogmas vlog. It is actually Wednesday. And um, yeah, I. <laughs> okay, guys, so you know, I've been all about the positivity and just starting the day off with affirmations. Um, speaking life on my onto my days and stuff like that but just because I'm I'm speaking life and trying my best to be positive and be happy doesn't mean that inside internally I'm conflicted and I have to be honest my insides feel conflicted I feel like some kind of like I guess it is like a burden like just feeling some type of weight that is trying really hard to keep me from being my fullest, my happiest. Honestly, like this week I've been lacking in motivation. I have not been motivated to complete my goals like I normally am. Normally I set my goals and I do my best to get them done. Today I came to work super early so that I can get certain things done and none of it was done. And I just kind of feel a little less motivated right now. And I'm not paying any attention to those feelings. This morning I had a pep talk with myself. Like, look, Desiree, you need to be about your stuff. You need to get up and get your, get your stuff done. Like, there's no time to be sitting around wallowing and 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 not getting what you need to get done you're an adult and nobody's gonna tell you to do anything you need to know that you got to get it done and you need to go ahead and get it done without anyone else telling you and I was just trying to pet my talk and I you know I, I felt really good but this week I've been conflicted inside feeling like something is just not right I don't know if you guys ever felt this way um I have done some research like months ago and I already know that I have a hypersensitive personality which means that I feel things on a whole different level than most people. I can I can sense certain types of energies. I can I can pick up on vibes very easily and when I do I have to be careful to, to protect my energy because I can easily be overcome with emotion or overwhelmed with um, negative vibes coming my way that I internalize it on a different level and I then want to know why I'm feeling that type of way but it's because I picked up something from somebody else and I internalized it and it, it I allowed it to become my own experience um, it's very very different. It's difficult. Um, I can feel things on a whole different level like when people are really happy I can sense that and I can be happy too. Like I can feel their happiness I can feel when someone is being false with me. I can feel when someone is being shady um, I can feel when someone is kind of moving away um like emotionally I can feel things on a whole different level and it is a blessing but at the same time it feels like a curse because 
I can carry somebody else's weight not knowing that it's their weight that I'm carrying and I wonder what in the world like what the heck so this week I've been carrying a weight and I've been really trying my best to separate myself from that weight and just pursue and, and just pursue happiness pursue positivity no matter what I don't know what they're doing outside they just decided to go park up outside the um, job I'm at my job as you can see still waiting on the children to come in but um yeah I, the main reason why I've been doing positive you know affirmations is because late as of lately this week um I've been feeling conflicted like Something inside is keeping me so, it's trying so hard to steal happiness. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's the devil. I don't know. I don't know if it's someone else's weight and burden because I do have, you know, so someone in mind. But it's difficult. It's really difficult. I am a very, like, complex type of person. Oftentimes, I don't know what the heck I'm dealing with. So it's difficult for me to really sort through things and understand myself sometimes. But I just decided, you know what? I'm going to move forward anyway, despite maybe how I feel, despite my, despite my feelings. I'm going to move forward and keep trusting God keep moving forward keep being positive even if all of me inside of me is trying so hard to to point out things that are not going right I'm going to try my best to overcome those feelings even though I may feel it doesn't mean that I have to be it doesn't mean it has to be my reality I could feel the feelings but I can move forward anyway with my mind mind over everything else so that's where i am right now i'm trying to move forward um trying to stay faithful to vlogmas and other things that i have going on in my life um so yeah guys it, it really is different like i want to know are any of you guys like have you done a personality test i'm really big on personality tests have any of you done a personality test and learned that you um learn what your personality is and if so, have you also done one where you, like, certain personalities are prone to being hypersensitive? So, have you ever taken that test and learned that you are hypersensitive? Do you pick up on types of vibes and energy very easily and, uh, and unknowingly make it your own? Like, I would love to know because I feel like I'm a one in a million type of person with this type of trait. And it's difficult because I don't know anyone who I can relate to that deals with the same thing I can feel people's happiness and I can feel their pain very much so much so that I refuse to look at the news too long because I can feel people's pain and it it burdens me um, I know that this is you know towards the end of the year and I just feel like I need to do maybe a detox um, not a detox and well I, I should do one you know health you know inside wise but I also feel like I need to do one life-wise, like a detox, like look at my life and evaluate the things that are working for me, that are pulling me up, that are making me elevate um, or and cut out the things that are not. It takes bravery to do that too because some things you kind of like allow to settle into your life and you don't know whether or not it should go. You don't, you don't feel comfortable letting it go. But coming into the next year, I do want to be more stable in a sense. It, it really is difficult because this, at this age, all of us young adults, we're still trying to get it together. Um, I was just watching a vlog by Shameless Maya and even she just is recently going through something where she she came from being and she's i believe she still is a girl boss came from being you know having a whole lot of things working for her she finally got her dream loft she finally started um becoming her own boss and she lost her place she lost her her um her workspace and now she's going through feelings of disappointment and all of those things are happening and it's like wow at what point do you really feel like you're secure like things are actually moving forward and you're all right you're doing good you're succeeding 
even the most successful person fails and it's like well should I even like should I even hope for stability like what what does stability look like in this age I just don't know but I want to be resilient um, and I, I just there's so much that I want there's so much that I want um, but I have to evaluate also the things that are going great I don't want to seem like I'm ungrateful I'm so grateful for the many blessings that are happening in my life last year I was going through um, a time where I really wanted to move out and I pursued that goal and was trusting God and faith and moving forward and getting my finances together I got that done and look at me today I have my own place I thank God every day coming back home especially like I thank God for a place to stay and I have furniture and you know things are working out for me I, I have a place of employment I have my family my friends you know I have future goals and you know and and dreams for bettering my career like there are so many things that are working out for me that many people wish that they could have today so I just really have to evaluate what is working well for me and try to focus on that rather than the things that are not going right things that I need things that I don't have yet I need to probably distance myself from social media and um watching youtube videos not being on youtube I, obviously but i need to not watch certain types of people because those people will definitely make me feel some type of way like what's going on with my life this girl got this going on and look at me like it's difficult so i really need to evaluate my life and just take some time to watch what i'm doing and what's working for me and what's not working for me it's difficult guys it's difficult especially when you're feeling all types of ways and you're just not feeling motivated but you know that you got to get things done and nobody else is gonna make you do it so who else has to get it done but you for you especially if you live on your own you are you are your I'm sorry guys for the noise but you are counting on you to get these things done if you don't get it done nobody else will and you will sink and fail in life if you're not about your business so oh boy if you guys are going through this right now please let me know because I would love to I would love to know that I'm not alone in this and that we can better each other and encourage one another down below in the comment section but this truck outside of my job is not allowing me to be great so i'm just gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching i'm gonna get this uh video up as soon as possible and thank you guys for watching vlogmas this far it's getting louder isn't it <laughs> thanks for watching vlogmas i will see you in the next video later